A football team plays 42 matches. They lose one third of their games. They win three quarters of the rest. How many do they draw? So there are 42 matches. One third are lost, which means that the rest, so two thirds, are either won or drawn. Of the rest, three quarters are won, which means that one quarter of the rest are drawn. If one third of the 42 matches are lost, we can divide 42 by 3 to get 14. So 14 matches are lost. The rest are either won or drawn. So if we subtract the number lost from the total, we know that 28 matches are either won or drawn. Now, we want to know how many are drawn, and if 3 quarters of the 28 are won, that means 1 quarter are drawn, and 1 quarter of 28 is the same as 28 divided by 4, which is 7, so they must have drawn 7 matches. Is there any other way we could represent this problem with a bar model? Is there any other way that we could solve it? Well, how about this one? Like us, they started by finding out how many games were lost, so that's 14. Then they worked out that 28 games must have either been won or drawn, but rather than using a bar for that, they used a brace around these two bars here, to show that 28 were either won or drawn. But then, rather than finding one quarter straight away, they found three quarters, so they found that 21 games were won, and then subtracted this from 28 to get seven games drawn. But is there a quicker way to get the answer? Well, let's look at this one. Here, they managed to find out that seven games were drawn, but they didn't even need to find out how many were lost or won. How did they do that? Well, they saw that one third were lost, so they knew that two thirds must have either been drawn or won. So they found two thirds of 42 by dividing by three and then multiplying by two. So they knew that 28 were either won or drawn. Then they saw that three quarters of the rest, so three quarters of the 28 were won, but they didn't need to find this out because if three quarters were won, that means one quarter were drawn. So they just needed to find one quarter of 28, which is seven. So there are many different ways to solve a problem and many different bar models that you can use even for the same question. Bar models are useful because they can help you to clarify your understanding and figure out what you need to do. But there isn't always just one bar model to represent one question. So maybe you answered this problem with a bar model that we haven't looked at here. And that's okay, as long as you're representing the problem in a way that makes sense to you, bar models will help you find the answer.